Today we're going to cover how you replace the SSL certificate for App Volume Manager, which is relevant for some of the great work we're doing with the new persistent VDI stuff. So the first step here is building our OpenSSL config. And now this is going to be my blog article, but pretty straightforward. That's my config file. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create the, the CSR to get the cert. Okay, I have OpenSSL open here and just navigate to my folder where my conf file is. And I'm going to put this command in here, which just says give me create the CSR with a new key, 2048. And we're going to fix this. So we're going to call this at volume CSR at volumes key. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to open the CSR and grab the contents. So you can see here, there's this stuff for my certificate request. I'm going to control C that. On over on my CA, I'm going to request a certificate, do an advanced certificate request. I'm going to pop that in there, click submit, and I'm going to download my certificate. I have the certificate and the key. And the key here is that you have to re rename them so that they'll actually be ingested correctly. So what you do here is you take cert new. So what we'll do is we'll take these two and we're going to add an orig at the, at the end of them. And now we're going to copy the new certs over. So now we have our svserver.key, svserver.crt. So now that we have those two files over there, we're going to restart the servers. So you can see as the service is coming up now that our certificate is now valid. If it actually will let me click on it. You see common name issued by. And it's just that simple. And there are different ways of getting your cert, but it's literally just get the cert you need, make sure your SANS match, pop it in there, do a service restart, and you're good to go.